Hey, what's going on everyone? Tony here from the Dev Dojo, and I'm going to show you in this video how you can install Wave using the Cloudways hosting solution. So this can actually be done in a couple minutes and it's surprisingly super easy. So I'm going to run through how you can get a software as a service starter kit set up in a couple of minutes so you can start building out your next great application. So first thing you'll want to do is go to cloudways.com and then you'll want to click on start for free. And if you do use the promotion code DevDojo, so use promo code DevDojo right here and you will get free $50 in hosting. So that could last you a couple months where, for you to build out your web application. So go ahead and do that. Sign up for a free Cloudways account. And then I'm going to show you after you sign up, you'll be here at your dashboard and you'll want to create a new server. So we're going to go ahead and click on launch. And what we're going to want to select is we're going to want to select a Laravel application. And after you select that, it's going to ask you for the name of the app and the name of your server. So I'm just going to call the name of my application Wave, and I will call the server Wave Server. And you can name this whatever you want. It's pretty much for organization on your end. You can also put this in a project if you want. So you can have multiple servers that you know live in a specific project or category. So then here you can select who you want the hosting provider to be with. You can choose DigitalOcean, Linode, Vulture, AWS, or Google Cloud Platform. And you actually don't have to have a DigitalOcean, Linode, or any of these services. You don't have to have an account with them because Cloudways is actually going to use their infrastructure on the back end. And they give you a really nice interface to work with the servers, as well as SSH access, 24 seven support, and a bunch of other cool things. So let's go ahead and select the location. I'm going to say that I want this to be San Francisco and DigitalOcean. And I'm going to click launch now. And this is going to take just a few minutes for the server to boot up. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video until the server is completed. Okay, and after your server has completed, we can then go ahead and click on the Wave server. And here you can see that we have the uh, credentials to SSH into your server. And you also have the password and you can add a public key if you would like. And then we can go over here to applications. And this is the new Laravel application that has been created. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the application and we're going to go down here to deploy via Git. And then I'm going to go to the GitHub repo. So the GitHub repo for wave is github.com slash the dev dojo slash wave. Or you can come to the wave homepage and you can click on view on GitHub. So then from here, we probably want to clone this and then add our own repo. This way we can link it to our hosting. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fork the repo and you probably don't want to fork the repo because if you fork it, you're not allowed to set the permissions to, you're not allowed to set it to a private repo. So you probably want to have your software as a service or your code on a private repo, which is why you'll want to download the code and initialize it as a new GitHub repo. So for now, just to show you how all this works, I just clone the repo and I'm going to go to my settings and I need to add a deploy key. So I need to go back to Cloudways and say generate SSH key. And then I can view that SSH key. I'm going to copy it and then add a new deploy key. I'm just gonna call this Cloudways deploy key. And I'm going to go ahead and say add key. And now that has been added, we can go back here to our dashboard. And then you can see here we have this git remote address. So we need to get that from our repo. So if we go back to our repo, we can then click on code and SSH. And we want to copy that repo and click on authenticate. And then it's going to ask us which branch do we want to deploy to our new server. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the main branch and then we can click on start deployment. Okay, and that just went ahead and deployed our wave application to our server. So what I need to do now is I need to finish the install. I need to SSH into the server and I need to run composer install. Uh, but first I need to update the .env. And one cool thing is if you go to the application, you'll see that you actually have a generic URL that you can use right now. So we'll get to that in just one second. So first let's, let's SSH into the server. 
So we'll open up our terminal and I'm going to say SSH and it's going to be the username. We'll say at the IP address. Okay, and then we can go ahead and copy the password. And just like that, we're in our server. So I can go ahead and list out the files and you can see that we have an applications folder. So I'm going to CD into that folder. And then we also have like a generic kind of like hash for our application. And you can just CD into that as well. So CD into this folder. And if we list out the directories, the public HTML folder, it's very common for your application to be in that folder for most Ubuntu servers. So we can go ahead and then CD into public HTML. And if we list out the contents, this is the contents of our application right here. So what I can do is I can actually open up the .env file and I can go ahead and add my database credentials. So if we go back to our application, we can see that we have our database credentials right here. So I can copy the database name. and the username. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do this again. I guess they're both the same, so that should be fine, right? Okay. Let's paste that in, and now the password. So we paste that in, and I'm going to write and quit, and then I'm going to run composer install. And this is all inside of the documentation of WAVE on how to install. So if we go to the documentation and we click on install, it's going to say that after we clone the repo, we create a new database, but we already had a database on the server. And then we basically had to enter in our .env credentials. Then we run composer install, and that is the step that we're currently on. So we've done that. And then we need to run PHP artisan migrate. So let's run that command. And then let's go back to our application. So check this out. We can go ahead and click on our temporary URL and click on install wave to finish the installation. And we click on continue. And you're going to see that we have a broken image right here. That's because we need to update the application URL. So let's jump back into the .env. And instead of this being at localhost, this should be the app URL of our temporary URL. Okay, so if we go back here and reload, now we have all of our images loading. We can go ahead and sign in as our admin, which is admin at admin.com, and then password as password. And now we're here at our application dashboard. So you can see within a few clicks, we were able to get a new server set up. We were able to install Wave, and now you're able to create your software as a service and you have all the main building blocks for a SaaS application. And that includes your user dashboard, users, we even have an admin panel. So you can go up here to admin. And then we also have a bunch of configurations that you can go into. You may need to log in again. Okay, so if we log in there, we can see all the plans, we can see roles, all the users, so that's pretty cool. We've just finished setting up a wave on a Cloudways hosting solution, and we have a generic URL. We can also then add an SSL cert if we wanted to. We could add our own domain, and you can kind of just play around with this until you start building out your software as a service, and you can have a live URL and a live server boot up within a couple of minutes. So again, make sure to head on over to cloudways.com and sign up for your free $50 hosting. And also be sure to check out devdoja.com slash wave and you can learn more about wave and how you can create your own software as a service using this application framework. So I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to creating more videos like this. How I'll show you how we can integrate wave with other Cloudways functionality to make building out your software as a service easier than ever before. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.